tutorial. So what we're going to do is to look at uh, some uh, encryption padding. So the methods we can use are these ones. So a typical method is the CMS method, which will take the, which will fill the uh, the blocks or the remaining blocks with a number of padding bytes. So what we have is an encryption method, which will use block ciphers, and then each one will have a certain size of block size. A typical one for AES is 128 bits or 16 bytes. So here's an example here. Okay, so there's the there's the padding bytes there. So 68 is an H, there's an E, L, L, O, and there's the padding bytes there. So let's have a look to see if we can work that out. So we've got 128-bit blocks. So how many uh, how many bytes do we need to be able to fill those? Well, that's uh, if we divide by four, we get 32 hex characters and two hex characters per byte. So it's 16 bytes. Okay. So we end up with 16 bytes. So here's the positions of them, B, C, D, E, F. And we're filling up H, E, L, L, O, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we have 11 padding bytes. So 11 in hex is 0, B. So that's the reason that we end up with a, 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 a plain text of this. So what happens when we increase the size, we can see there we burst into another another block. Okay, but we'll just take hello and hello one, two, three. Okay, so if we went for just hell, there we can see we've got C this time. So there we go. So we're padding there. So this time we would have 12 or 0, zero C. Okay, so that's the way that the padding works. So the characters will generally fill the values. So if we had hello, 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 we're just going to have one padding value there. And there we go, 0, 1 at the end. Okay. So that's the way that the that the padding actually works. We can do other things like uh, we can we can pad with a, a eight zero hex or with nulls, spaces, and and so on. So we'll just go back to our tutorial and we'll make a start. Okay. So for AES with two hundred fifty six bit key, what's the normal block size in bytes? So we saw that that was sixteen, and then in terms of the number of hex characters that, that we generate. So we'll just uh, have a look at the example again. Okay, so there's there's our there's our cipher then. And we can you can call you can count the number of characters there. But basically we get six bits, six bits for every every hex value. So if we went for 128 divided by six, we're gonna have 21 characters and a little bit left off. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, we've all we've always got to get a multiple of four, so that's the reason that we get the extra character at the end. So it's twenty-one, and the nearest that we'll get if we go up is twenty-four. So we should get twenty-four base sixty-four characters for are uh, each of the each of the blocks okay so now we'll have a look and we'll try a message of kettle and oxtail so let me see if i can just just copy and paste this one here <laughs> let's just go to the page so it's encryption and then 
setting and this is AES that we're using so we want the message of kettle and oxtail so kettle and oxtail and there we go so there's the there's the cipher text in hexadecimal here and we can see the padding here is with a 10 value of 10 that's been used okay so we can have a look at all the different types to see what the what the padding will actually be so again as we saw for fox fox that one okay so the padding is D in this in this case then we'll try foxtrot padding is 9 so we've not filled it up yet foxtrot ant eater foxtrot ant eater and so you can see here now what's actually happened is that uh, after the padding we can see now that we've nearly filled up but there's a zero one at the end okay so hopefully the next one that we'll do foxtrot anti the castle you'll see the padding jump there we go okay so it's jumped now we're using two blocks first one around there depends where the e ends probably there that's the first block. Oops. Then 61. Oops. 61, 76 is the Antitar Castle. And then the second block is padded with that part there. Okay. Okay, so those, the first three really just fill the the first block and then when we get to fox trot anti to castle it should be double that the size then okay so with n characters in the string how would you generalize well obviously it uh, it will go to 16 so for every 16 we'll have one block full okay and then with with des des you should find that uh, the link for that one so for des the smaller block sizes of 16 so you can see it's a bit smaller here so we're padding only with three this time uh, because we have a 64 bit 64 bit uh, block a 64-bit block size for uh, des, which should give us 16 characters, 16, 8, 8 characters. So there's 5, and then that's why we add another 3. So this time with with des, with we have a 64-bit block size, which is 16 hex characters and 8 bytes per block so this time when we when we fill we only have 8 there so there's hello 1 2 3 okay so that's the reason that we get the 0 3 at the end okay so if you do the same again for that one that that will give you an idea of how Des works. Now what to do is to download this uh, this little Python script here and what we'll do is that uh, we'll actually run the code that we've been using to be able to do the padding for us. So I've got it here so I'm just using Windows but you can use Linux and there we are. So there's the code that, that we have. So there's a little encryption uh, module and there's a, a decryption module so basically what happens is that we're taking a key we're taking a hash of the password and then what we're doing is that uh, we're determining the plain text using the padding method 
that, that we're going to use. There is them. And we'll display that and then we'll show what the encrypted ciphertext is and then we're going to decrypt it. And we'll show that for each of the different types. Okay, so you can put in the values here within the Python code, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll set it up so that we can actually we can actually enter the values. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pass in the parameters from the command line. So here we are. So we'll just copy that and we'll just paste that in. So we'll paste it in somewhere here. Okay, so you put the import sys at the top there. Done that. So okay, so we need to do our indenting a little bit. The PDF has lost the bit of the formatting. so that will take the first argument and put it into val which is a message and it'll take the second argument which is the password and and put it into the variable password okay so let's give that a try so we'll try hello and hello one two three so there we go. So we're getting our different methods there. So let's just check so Python. That's it. So it's a low is our second argument. Our value that we're encrypting. So there's our key goes into password, and the first one is value. Right. Yeah, we'll just check. Okay, so for the first one, we'll try hello and hello one two three. So we get uh, zero. A seven zero A seven zero A seven zero A seven and zero D. So okay, so that's that's working fine. Okay, so in that way we can pass in the arguments and what to do is to, to try out each of the different values here and then do the same with our sixty four bit DES. Remember that sixty four bit DES really isn't sixty a sixty four bit key because it only uses fifty six bit keys. Then the next thing we'll do is we'll just uh, try entering the values from the from the keyboard and prompting the user this might make it a little bit easier to input Passwords will get the, the value back and the password, and then that will be it. Okay, so we'll try again hello and hello to three, and that's working fine. Okay, 
So, so we're getting uh, the correct value from, from them. Okay, so for the next one, what we'll do is that we'll actually do the reverse of it. And uh, what we'll do is that we'll get some, some ciphertext and a key, and then we'll work out what the plain text is. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly cheat a little bit here. So this is the Python function that, would, that allows you to, to convert from a hex value, hex string, into uh, a byte array. So the byte array we'll use to be able to uh, decrypt uh, the, the actual cipher. Okay, so I think I've already got that one set up, so I'll just show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to input the cipher in hex, we're going to take the password, and then what we're going to do is convert it into a byte array, convert the ciphertext into a byte array, and then convert that into our plain text. So we'll give that a try. So I've set up some countries here of the world. So let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to paste that in. And the password is hello. And we can see the answer there is Germany. Okay. So, so go ahead and do that for both these ones here. And then in the end, there are some reflective answers for you if you just go ahead and have a think about those ones. Okay, so that's been an overview of uh, using padding in encryption.